Have you ever wondered to yourself, how do I continue to work when I don't want to work? Have you ever thought to yourself that, man, I'm procrastinating too much? May I submit to you the idea today that you can continue to work when you don't want to. It's just how do we create an idea in our head that's going to make us work when we don't want to? And I really do think it comes down to how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? I mean, seriously, ask yourself this question. Truthfully and honestly, if you don't want it bad enough, you should click off this video because this is for the people who want it that bad. People don't realize how much you need to want it to go after a certain thing. You know, sticking to this YouTube channel for a year and uploading a video every day. I was recording three videos a day, uploading all three videos a day. At one point I was three months ahead and I was still seeing not many results, but not many people can do that. But it all comes down to how bad do you truly want it? If you don't want it bad enough, you're never going to want it. And that's what keeps people pushing past their limits. You need to understand this. If you can't find the reason why you should keep working, then it's probably because you don't want it bad enough. Because I'm sure if you wanted it bad enough, you would continue to work as hard as it sounds. But how do we want it bad enough? Well, that's a very good question, Zach, isn't it? How do we find something we want bad enough? Brian Tracy put it best. If you could do one thing without failing, what is that one thing that you would do? Well, it's a very good chance that that one thing that you could do without failing is probably what you should be going after. For me, it's this YouTube channel. For me, it's going out and interviewing people in public. And that's the reason I keep at it because I know that even if I fail, I want it that bad. If you're one of those people who know they can become better, if you're one of those people who wants more in life, what I highly suggest you do is go down below and hit that subscribe button. Join a community today. This is the Self-Improvement Lab community where we're all trying to become better, where we're all trying and executing on becoming a better version of yourself. You'd be very surprised at how much you lack in community because when you join a community, what happens is you get friendly competition and you make friends and you become a better version of yourself because when other people succeed, you have no other option but to succeed. So join the Self-Improvement Lab community down below to be informed and to update your information because you want to become better. Than One thing people have been doctored into, and I don't know where this has come from, but people have to believe that work has to be fun. And while I truly do believe that at some point, if you do like what you're doing, it's going to be fun regardless. You know, there's times in my life where recording videos can be fun. Recording videos can be fun. It's not always fun, but it can be, but it's just because I like doing it. But does your work have to be fun? I mean, seriously, ask yourself that question because sometimes asking yourself that question up front, and it's okay if work has to be fun. It's just how do we find how work can be fun? How do we find how we can make work more enjoyable? Because if you're straight honest with yourself and you say that work has to be fun because I know my attention span isn't good, I may have extreme high attention deficiency and I may not be interested in what I'm doing, okay, at least you're honest with yourself, but what are we gonna do to overcome that? What are we gonna do to say that this is more fun? Because if you can find a way to make work fun and that's what you need, then you gotta go do it. Because chances are the thing that you're doing is what you're meant to do. It's just you feel like work isn't fun. How do you make it fun? What do you do? Well, I don't know. That's going to be a question for you. I can't really solve everybody's answers. But what I can do is shape your mind in a way to say, hmm, how can I do that? How can I create more things? How can I become better? How can I do this or that? So what I highly suggest you do is if work has to be fun for you, go out there and figure out how can I make work fun? If I don't enjoy editing, well, maybe... Why don't I join a master class and make work fun? And maybe why don't I try learning new things? Maybe I've been stuck on this certain, this certain editing style. Why don't I try a different editing? Why don't I try color grading and try to make this fun? There's all kinds of things you can do, but you just haven't let your mind go. So what I suggest you do is if work has to be fun, go and find how you can make it fun. If we take one thing away from this video, and I really hope you take this to heart, the ones that are this far into the video, the ones that have made it, because you are a special few. I hope you know that. The reason you made it this far is because you want something and you know there's something in this video and it's been wrapped up and it's been hidden at the very end because people can't stay. That's the reason I hide a lot of information at the very end because the people who make it through are the people who actually want to change your life. And that's discipline. And I know it's so silly to say, you can click off the video now and say this was a waste of time, but you gotta listen to me for a quick sec. Discipline, discipline, discipline. It's the reason I keep doing this. It's the thing that you need to figure out for yourself. How do I have the discipline to do it? Mike Tyson said it best, discipline is doing what you hate to do like you love it. Sometimes work isn't fun, sometimes work isn't great, but you need to do it like you love it. It's a very weird mindset and not a lot of people are going to have and that's the reason that you're watching this is because you're one of those select few that does have it. Curate the discipline. Become the discipline. Love the discipline. Love the energy. Love the work regardless of what it is. You want to know discipline? Get up at 5 a.m. and try to go for a run because when it's cold and when it's rainy and when it's wet and you don't want to go for a run, what's discipline? Discipline is that devil at the back of your ear or maybe we could call it the angel at the back of your ear saying go for a run. Go for a run. Go for a run. Trust me. 
have the discipline to go after it. Find a way that you can say to yourself, it needs to be done. Brian Tracy says it amazingly. Get it done now, get it done now, get it done now, get it done now. Stop procrastinating. Procrastination is the devil. Procrastination is gonna stop you from doing things and procrastination is the opposite to discipline. If you have procrastinating tendencies, how can we figure out a way for you not to have these procrastinating tendencies? Get it done now, get it done now, get it done now. Say it to yourself day in and day out, get it done now. Because if you can get it done now, you're gonna formulate this discipline for yourself. You wanna try something? Get up every morning at 5 a.m. If you don't get up at 5 a.m., because I guarantee you, you're going to really quickly find out how bad do you want it. One, like we went over. And two, what's the discipline? Two, do you have enough discipline to get up at that time? Because sure as heck, when it's Monday morning and you said to yourself on Saturday that when you were feeling motivated that, oh, I want to do this and you got to get up at 5 a.m. Monday morning and go to the same as real job that you work, you're going to quickly find out who's winning in this world and who's not. Because hey, when you're making that conscious decision that you want to do it and you don't do it, well, that's procrastination. The way that I find discipline is by knowing I'm not where I'm at. The reason that I have so much discipline is knowing that I'm not satisfied with where I'm at. I need to keep pushing. It's an innate drive. It's how bad do you want it? Do you have enough discipline? So what I highly suggest you do is try something new. If you do not have enough discipline, go out there and try something you never thought you could have get done. You know, getting up at 5 a.m., going to the gym every day for a week, and you'll quickly find out how much discipline you truly have. How bad do you want it? Do you want it that bad? The two things go hand in hand. Everybody, this has been a lovely video. Thank you so much. God bless.